Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we got every moon in Bowsette's castle's b-side, uh, and we discussed a couple of moons back there that I think are impossible to get. Uh, it's the 2 in the 2D section in that kingdom, basically. Uh, which is a bit sad. Um, but for now, we're gonna keep our, keep our chins up, make our way over to Honeyloon Ridge, and start collecting moons here. First thing we're gonna do is talk to this tourist over here, who you might recognize. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Hmm, somewhere with mushrooms. I wonder where that could be. <laughs> uh, we're also going to head over this way. You can see Captain Toad is over here. Uh, so we're going to just talk to him. Or them. And we get another power moon. Yeah! So that's two. We're making good progress. Um, the next thing we're going to do... You may remember way back in the Cap Kingdom, there was a hint art that we still haven't done. Uh, we have to do it here, actually. Uh, I'll see if I've still got it in the list. It's this one. You can see you've got the Earth at the top there, and you've got all these people looking at it. It took me a while to figure this one out, because I assumed they were buildings in um, New Donk City, but they're not. They're people looking at the Earth from space. Uh, so we have to basically go to the second person in the row and look around behind them. Uh, and the second person is, if we just crouch again, since we opened the home menu, there we go. The second person is that lock lady there, so we'll just uh, walk over here, pound the ground a little bit, and we can get... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! That's the last moon for the Cap Kingdom. So if we go back to our list here, and just flick all the way back over to the Cap Kingdom, uh, you can see it's now 31 out of 31. The Cap Kingdom is complete. Which is pretty cool, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, so now we come back to the Moon Kingdom, and we can proceed with what we're doing over here. Uh, there's another one of these uh, sneaky blobs here. Uh, this one might be a bit trickier than the others because of the gravity issues we're dealing with. Uh, basically, because it's super low gravity, uh, uh, we may actually be have less trouble than otherwise. Okay, I, I assume it gives you a bit more time because of the low gravity. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, because that was really easy. Also, this crate is fairly small, so there's not much room for it to move around. Uh, if you look over here, you may notice there's a moon up there. Um, you can get it using some invisible blocks, but we're going to try... See if we can get it from the Odyssey. Uh, I think it's possible. Just to bounce over from, a, from here to do it. Because of the really low gravity here on the moon. Yes, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. yeah! Uh, we'll probably do about ten moons here. I mean, we've already done five, but the others will take a bit longer, probably. Uh, uh, we can buy a moon. We do need to buy a moon in this shop, uh, but we won't do that just yet. Uh, we can come back to that in a moment. Uh, there's another trace walking Koopa down here, so we do need to do that. Uh, this one would have been a lot harder than it actually is. Uh, it should be fairly straightforward. Basically, it just have to walk in a circle again, but the ground's a little bit of a weird shape. Uh, they initially planned to make it a star shape, which would be really hard, but they made it a circle in the end, so it's not too tricky. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to waddle our way around here. Uh, again, since we're waddling, it's not as hard as it otherwise would be, in my opinion. Um, Gotta take it nice and slow, because we have no other option, basically. Uh, the ground makes... Like, messes with you a little bit, so you gotta be careful. Uh, that ridge there, it can kind of mess you up. Um, kinda lost track of where the arrows were. Hopefully we're doing okay. Basically, I'm just occasionally nudging the right stick to turn us a little bit. Uh, the left stick, I'm just keeping pushed straight forward. Okay, that's not a very good circle, but it might be okay. Uh, that should be alright. It was. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, so that's six. Well, we'll, get a, we'll get a few more. Uh, down here there's a timer challenge, which is a little worrying, but I think we'll be okay. I think we should be able to do this. 
Uh, we still have the low gravity to help us. Uh, basically, this is about long jumps, which is something we can do, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. Oops. Uh, point of advice, don't press Y to increase your roll speed, because that will happen. Uh, a long jump is always a set speed anyway, so that was completely pointless, and I shouldn't have done it. Uh, so let's just uh, make our way back over and try this again. <laughs> Uh, you can see some characters are wearing helmets on the moon, but other characters aren't, which is interesting. The Coopers are wearing helmets, the Dog is wearing a helmet, uh, but a lot of the other critters around aren't wearing helmets, including Mario, who doesn't seem to need one. Oops. <sighs> okay. <laughs> um, that's a thing. It's gonna gonna be a bit of a thing. You can see there's bits of a moon rock here. Uh, there wasn't actually a moon rock here that we could break. It's just because this is where all the rocks are from. There are pieces of moon around. Um, I think it's a pretty cool aesthetic that the moon just has those rocks everywhere because it's the moon and they're moon rocks. Anyway, we should do that. And then we can jump our way over. Uh, it's not too tricky. We just gotta make sure we have enough space to start, and then we can just do the long jumps without too much trouble. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! See? Easy. And then we can just do a little backflip to get back up. Easy peasy. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, that happened. Uh, next, I think we'll head over this direction. Uh, if you look on the side of this this um, crater thing, you can see that there's a bunch of 2D stuff, which is easy to access because the pipe is facing that way. Uh, this area has low gravity, just like all the 3D sections, uh, which is handy because it means you jump mega high. Uh, there's some fuzzies to watch out for. Um, I didn't do a good job of watching out for them because I'm not very good at video games. Uh, but they're not actually that hard to dodge if you're good at video games. Ba -da -ba. Yeah! Easy. Um, now there are some uh, purple coins up there, as you can see. I don't know if we can build up enough momentum to climb up there, though. Uh, if we maybe face the other way, we could do it. There isn't really anywhere to turn around here, though. Hmm. We may need Cappy's help to get up there. Um, there's also a moon that shows up up there later, so we'll, we'll look at that later when we when we um do the B-side, I reckon. Anyway, that one was easy enough. Uh, we're now at eight moons. Uh, there are 27 to get, so... Uh, that doesn't divide very well. Uh, let's go for, like, 13 in this video, and then the other 12. Is that right? No, it's not right. And then 14 in the other video. <laughs> I reckon that's probably a good number. Um, you may remember just here, this block. Uh, above that block, there's another invisible block, which has a life up height for free. Ba -da 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 -da, which is nice to have. Always good to get some life up hearts in your, in your um, chest. I guess that's where hearts are kept. Um, if we go over this way, we can see that there's a little bunny. Uh, we want to chase this bunny. Uh, like us, the bunny moves slow in slow motion because of the gravity. Which kind of helps a little bit. I mean, it's not really slow motion, it's just slow gravity. Um, the bunny's actual motion is regular speed. Uh, there we go. Not too much trouble. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! That's... Nine? Ten? Nine? Nine. Okay, uh, I think there will be some moons up there, but they haven't spawned in yet, so we won't do that just yet. Uh, there aren't any story moons here, so we have to worry about reloading the area or anything. Uh, so that's nice. We already got those, uh, star bits. Oh yeah, um, last time we were here I was trying to talk about the similarities between this game and the Galaxy games. Um, and the differences, of course. Uh, the Odyssey is fairly similar, in my opinion, to Starship Mario from Galaxy 2. 
Uh, but I think the Odyssey has more personality as a vehicle, even though its use is fairly similar and neither of them have, you know, voices or anything. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. It might just be because I like this game better than Galaxy 2. Um, but I, I feel like it did a better job of giving the ship character. Um, it helps that the engine room in Galaxy 2 was just filled up with power-ups, um, whereas this one is filled with unique souvenirs that you buy from each kingdom. Uh, it's a very similar room. It's like a round room with a locked camera that fills up with like useless objects. But you can actually interact with them in this game, whereas in um, Galaxy 2 the power-ups were all in little uh, capsules or whatever that you couldn't open. I don't know what the point of that was. It was a bit silly. Uh, whereas in this game, you can jump on them and play with them and stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, also, Cappy admires them because she's a cutie. Let's get a rocket flower. There we go. So yeah, jumping gaps with rocket flowers on the moon is pretty fun. Um, the uh, Also from Galaxy, the fact that you can do a cap throw like this uh, is very similar, actually, to Galaxy's spin. Uh, because both of them in midair, interrupt your air momentum, uh, which is very useful for precise platforming and aiming where you're landing and stuff like that. Uh, Galaxy Spin also gave you some vertical height, so you can climb up a high ledge uh, by, like, wall kicking off it and then spinning. Uh, I can get... I'll go over there, it's higher. Uh, better, better way to demonstrate what I'm talking about here. Uh. So, like, you could do that, then spin, and then do another wall jump to keep climbing. Uh. No, wait, that's not right. No, you, you, you did throw, and then a wall jump, and then, another, and then another spin, and you could actually climb up most ledges in the game that way. Here, that doesn't work. Uh, partly because the wall jump isn't as good, and partly because the throw doesn't give you any height by itself. But because of the cap bounce, you can gain height that way instead. It's a little more strategic, I guess. Um, but fairly similar overall. Um, what else is, is Galaxy like in this game? Uh, I felt like the, the tone of the story was kind of similar to Galaxy's, Galaxy 1, where you had the big epic uh, adventure sort of feel. Um, I felt Galaxy 2 didn't really get that, uh, but Galaxy 1 did, and this game does it too. It, it feels like a grand quest of sorts, and I think it did. this game did it better, partially because the music is amazing. It's really good in Galaxy, but here it's amazing. Uh, so when you talk to the Sphinx before clearing the kingdom, uh, you can't get this because you're supposed to go interrupt the wedding instead. You also won't know the answer to this, but you could just guess it. Uh, except the Sphinx doesn't ask, obviously. Uh, just like the other Sphinx moons, you can just talk, go over here and talk to the Sphinx again to get another moon. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, frogs. Oh, can't be found. I misread. Oops. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we saw a rabbit already. We saw a dog already. There are frogs at the far end near the wedding hall. There are no sheep. Oh, uh, they were moon rocks. So yeah, um, it's the same deal as in the other kingdom. It's a pretty easy quiz, really. Uh, the secret en entrance to the wedding hall. We haven't actually found that yet, but you can drop down from, from where the bell is to get in. Uh, it's pretty easy to do, though. Uh, you floated by airship sail. The way you know that is because you've seen the Sphinx through the binoculars in other kingdoms. ba da ba da ba da ba Yeah! Which is a clever little trick, I think. Uh, that's the last quiz the Sphinx... No, it's not the last quiz. It's the last moon we can get from the Sphinx. But the Sphinx will give us one more quiz later in the game. ba da ba da ba da ba Yeah! Uh, here we can get a bunch of money. Uh, which is great if you want to make... You know, some profit. Just get a bunch of money. Like most of the treasure vaults in the game, it's just you know there's a moon in the middle and there's a bunch of mo money surrounding it, which is which is nice. Uh, I don't think there's anything we can look at in this kingdom, so the binoculars aren't very useful. Uh, might go have a look and just see. I think.
think this is just to help you save the wedding hall rather than anything else. Anything more moonly. I'm having trouble throwing directly at this, this set of binoculars. Um, there we go. It's probably standing too close, honestly. So you can look over at the wedding hall and get a good idea of what's going on over there from here. I don't think there's anything else to look at. I mean, you can look at the Earth. There's the Earth. Or, you know, whatever planet it is. I don't think it's actually Earth. I believe they just call it our planet when they're talking about the planet. Like, they don't say Earth. Uh, and it's not, it doesn't look like Earth either. If you look at the globe, it's a completely different planet. So, uh, there's a good chance it's not supposed to be Earth. Um, anyway, uh, we can climb up here. Make our way over to the wedding hall. There is now a checkpoint over there. Uh, you can see the um, Bowser flag on the left side there. That was not there before. Uh, this checkpoint only shows up after doing the story. I'm not sure why, because you could just use the one on top of Ever After Hill, which is pretty close to this one. Like, Ever After Hill's right there, just traveling along this little path doesn't take long, so I'm not sure why there's another checkpoint over here. Um, I, g I guess it's a little handy. Uh, there's some moon shards here. Uh, you're supposed to grab a frog to help you get up on top of the wedding hall to get some of them. We're not going to. We're going to just climb up there with just Mario, which is completely doable. Uh, thanks to the low gravity we have here. So, yeah, you can see you can use wall jumps to scale stuff. A lot like in Galaxy, actually, uh, where you could do it with the spin and wall jump. Uh, just because of the low gravity here. It's really easy to scale up stuff using wall jumps. Uh, so, yeah, we have a look around. Uh, kind of cutely, if you come over here, there's Mario and Peach on the back of the wedding hall. I assume it's supposed to imply that they're like a couple or whatever, but they're not, obviously. Peach is dating Tiara. It's still cute though. And yeah, you can just, take, just hit both of them and they'll give you the usual prizes. And there's a bunch of hidden coins on this wall here if you want some hidden coins. You can come here and get them. Uh, it's another moon shard somewhere. <laughs> I can't remember where they all are. Um, I think there's one on top of the top of the bell, maybe. Uh, we won't be talking to those fellows yet. Fellows, those those ladies. <laughs> Why am I saying fellows? It's such a weird word. I never talk like that. Oh, there we go. Uh, where is the last moon shard? I can't actually remember. Is it on the front? So yeah, you can scale this chapel pretty easily without using a frog. I'm not sure if you can reach the very top. Uh, there's a couple of purple coins on the very top of the steeple. So this isn't a chapel, it's a wedding hall. There's no religion in this game. <laughs> Even though this thing looks like a church. And this is clearly supposed to be a church. And a lot of people call it a church or a chapel. It's not one, officially. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't remember where the last moon chart is. It might be like right at the top, where the purple coins are. Ah, the window got in my way. Evil. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, one of the problems with this kingdom, because you're in the air so much, you don't get your cap bounce recharged, because you have to touch the ground to do that. Uh, which can be a bit of a problem in some cases. <laughs> Okay, there's the last moon shard, it's the top of that. I'll see if I can get up there without using a frog. I think you might need a frog for that one. Or well, maybe not. Let's see how we go. Uh, no, that, that should be doable. I can, I can get up there. See? Easy. Okay, uh, and that spawns on the front of the chapel. Sorry, wedding hall. On the front of the wedding hall. I don't know if we can climb up this part without a frog. Oh, maybe. Maybe. We need to use a cap bounce to do it though, rather than just a wall jump. 
Mm, close. As you can see, there's some purple coins up there. Nothing much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I might just grab a frog for that. Um, anyway, this moon we can get very easily. I might grab just one more, since we're in the area. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's 13. Uh, again, there are 27. Actually, it's 12. I, need, I do need to get some more. Oh, right, yeah, because one of these is a hint art moon. Right. Yeah, and so it's from the actual, actually from a different kingdom. So I will get at least this one. It's kind of obvious. You can see that this uh, spire is sparkling. So if you just look happy at it, eventually I'll manage to look happy at it. There we go. Cappy! And yeah, a moon pops out. Okay, so that's 13 moons from this kingdom. Ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, out of 27, I might grab just one more. I'll have a quick look around and see if there's any that are, like, obvious. Uh, you see there's a frog at the back here? Uh, that's what you're supposed to use to do all this stuff we just did. Uh, but I didn't. Uh, the race is there. Oh, actually, I know what I'll do. Uh, if we climb back onto the chapel again... Sorry, wedding hall. It's called a wedding hall. Which is pretty easy to do. We make our way back up to the bell. Uh, as we mentioned to the Sphinx earlier, there is an entrance to this building hidden behind the bell. Or under the bell, more like. Uh... And you can drop down this hole here to enter the wedding hall from above. Uh, and the reason that's useful is that there's a moon up here in the rafters. So we're going to go get that. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! There we go. Okay, that's 14 moons. That's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I'm going to head back to the Odyssey and cash those in. And we'll do the remaining A-side moons in the next video. Uh, you can see there's a painting here with Bowsette and Peach. Jumping in that painting will rerun the final boss battle, uh, so you can play through the ending again if you want. Uh, you can also see there's an empty painting over here. Uh, this painting, like, populates itself when you get all 880 unique moons. So I don't think we'll ever manage to do that, because several of them are impossible. Um, which is a bit sad. Um, but... Uh, I'll probably think of something else to do as an ending once we've got all the moons we can. Uh, I'm kind of thinking of using... Uh, of redoing the normal boss battle with something else to make it harder. I have something in mind. I don't want to spoil it, but I've got an idea. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to make our way back over to the Odyssey now. It's not too tricky. And the gravity here is really fun to play with, so it's nice to do some jumping around. There's the Trace Walker, we already did that. So yeah, we're just going to cash in these 14, well, we have 15 moons, but 14 from this kingdom. Going to cash in these moons. In the next video, we'll get the rest of the A-side moons. And then after that, the B-side moons. Uh, this, this kingdom does have B-side moons, which is interesting because it is the moon. You would kind of expect any moon rocks here to already... I don't know, it seems weird. <sighs> Anyway, uh, we're going to cash in all of these moons. 706. Making really good progress. <laughs> um, but that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And next time we'll be getting some more moons. So, you know, stay tuned for moons. Let's, I'm going to see if I can... Oops.
Yeah, you can't scale that wall. But yeah, that would basically be the equivalent of um Galaxy's spin wall jump spin combination. Going towards a wall, bouncing off Cappy, wall jumping, and yeah, then trying to ascend from there. But you can't do quite the same thing you would do in Galaxy. The combination is a little more intricate, which I like. I like it being a little more technical. <laughs> Um, I seem to be getting these purple coins, so, um, the video wasn't quite over. <laughs> uh, there's actually quite a few left. I'm not quite sure where they'd be. Hmm. Oh, right, yeah, there's some down in the cabins, which we haven't been into yet. There's also a bunch of moons down there, so we'll be doing that in the next video. Uh, but for now, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope... You feel especially bouncing on a taxi today. Look at that bounce. <laughs>